This week in Onuha Uncensored. Have fun in Ibiza. Don't do anything I would not do. Chris, 16 years old. I had my uh, first 3K day two days ago. The beautiful piece I yesterday picked up. This is the power of returning customers. Okay, this morning me and Ruben put all our Q4 objectives on the blackboard. We set the targets, we made the plan. Nobody shares their objectives, but we do. So Q4 objectives. First of all, 2 million a month by September. Ruben, we have the stock, right? Yeah, we have the stock. We Not yet, we ordered it. But this year we are working very good in advance also with our new supply chain manager. So all the stock for Q4 is already ordered. A lot of the stock will also get shipped by boat and a small amount of more newer items that we haven't launched before. We will ship them by air so we can launch them quickly. Mm -hmm. So uh, the stock is coming uh, right now. So that's the f f first main target. Honestly, we are going to crush it. It's no question to ask. Three million a month, November and also December. This is a very, very big goal because normal brands, they don't scale this fast because scaling this fast is, of course, a risk because you have to put a lot of money down, first of all, for the down payment for the inventory. But besides that, you have to be very, very confident in your products, what you're going to do, the collections, your brand. And that's what we are. We know what we do. We know our performance. And it is also because we've had all these obstacles. We have had months last year that shit didn't go our way. But what happened? We found out why that was and we turned it around. And now we know exactly exactly why what we do is working so well right can you tell a bit about that ruben yeah so the mistake that we made last year is that we wanted to go too wide with our collections so uh, we wanted to try a lot of new things new items and because of that our ROAS went down because what we saw is that people come to us for our best sellers so since we went double down on our best sellers so for example for us like black jeans, black trousers, dark blue jeans, track pants and other products that we have and are already selling some of them for four or five years. Buy more stock of those items and since we double do down that, on what works, yeah, double down on what works and who your customer is and what your customer likes. And since we uh, did that, like everything changed, everything. Our, our lives changed, the, the brand changed. So yeah, that's why we're going to kill it. Then expansion stores live we are launching in poland expansion store denmark norway sweden and finland all those expansion stores at the moment as we speak they are being finalized we have shopify plus uk fulfillment live so we are now searching the right fulfillment partner in the uk and then we're gonna scale the shit out of it there we already sell in the uk but all of you know brexit messed some things up but in the UK, at the moment, we are already doing a eight to nine ROAS return on ad spend, which shows a lot about the strength of Icon also there because it's the perfect target audience for us. Yeah, of course, UK 10K day will be there in no time as soon as we are live. We already ordered product for this. So the manufacturers are already working on that. Native ads. So that means ads in these languages, French, Spanish, Italy, all around store manager at the moment, we have myself, CEO, Ruben, CEO. Ruben handles a lot about uh, Icon and making sure that we move the needle forward, things get done. But as we are expanding, we really see that there is so much more we can do, we should do. As we are growing, as we are going for these big months, we need more people to help us towards that goal. All around store manager, what are we mainly looking for? Someone with Ecom experience that can really handle problems, that can find out things. Because at the moment, we... Me and Ruben are still uh, most of the times the ones who have to uh, search for certain things if there is a problem or something new. But we want some, someone to uh, handle that. And someone creative, of course, because a lot of store managers, you need to tell them, do this, do that. No, we don't want that. We want somebody who takes full uh, responsibility and next to that also comes with new ideas on how to improve the business. Exactly. Marketing manager, creative director. Maybe you can talk about it. Yeah, so uh, we are looking for a creative director in the first place. To somebody who can tell our brand vision and bring it over in the in the content in the marketing and on the website so we're looking for someone who can really get yeah, the brand vision the brand plan and the things that we stand for make sure that it gets uh, yeah, delivered to our customers and to the the rest of the team all the other content creators and the agencies we work with know exactly uh, what to focus on uh, what to work on what the new campaigns are what exactly. the new products are and also for you to understand is that running a brand especially at 
scale what we are doing right now. I know Ruben know and also people in the team here. Content is key. Content is what sells your product. So that's why we are looking for a marketing manager, content manager or creative manager, because it's so important. You cannot scale to those numbers with just a couple of creatives, just a few bits of content here and there. That's not enough because Ruben, how much content does go into this? Especially now, now we are uh, ramping up spends. Yeah, now with content creators and influencers together, we are at 45K spent a month on them. So I think that's, let's say 60% uh, is content creators and 40% is influencers. So uh, we're really ramping up spend with that uh, because a few months ago we were only at around 20K spent. But uh, yeah, it's worth it everything you put back in your own brand 100%. Own brand is key, and that's why we also put money in it and sometimes you we think like some creators are expensive of some influencers you have to make the yeah. investment right because otherwise you can never find out and if they can uh, get you orders that it will be only better for example if we can get a customer uh, through an influencer that's a customer that will stay his whole lifetime with us so we'll Thanks. place many orders and also looking at at building a brand or building a company don't expect everything you invest to to always have a return we have had so many learning lessons by making investments that didn't work or didn't get the desired results it's part of it you know but we see it all as investments even we had months that we were maybe negative or not doing the numbers we want we all saw the ad spend as investment because we are building something here and the most exciting one probably for all of you guys the elite mastermind are coming november amsterdam december dubai this will be hands down the best eco mastermind there will be it will be very limited limited to a certain amount of people because it will be the first time ever of me ruben and my full team doing a mastermind it's gonna be fucking nuts winning. right winning it's gonna be big we don't do uh, small things and i really want you guys to connect, get value, but most of all, to see what it is to be in, in the space of, of me, Ruben, and, and everyone we work with, because you will elevate. It's your environment is key. If you put the right people around you, you will grow. That's what I see when I look at my team, at the people who are all involved, look at Ruben, what he has been able to do over the past years. Everyone is growing. Why is that happening? Why? Why? I know because it's the right environment. If you are getting knowledge thrown at you 24 seven, because everyone around you is trying to improve their business, improve their life, their finances, then you will grow with it. It's that simple. Okay, bro, have fun in Ibiza, do your thing and uh, send me the videos. Don't do too dirty. Don't do anything I would not do. Then I would do everything. Everything. <laughs> See you. Let's fill up the beast. Okay, guys. So I just dropped Ruben at the airport, Amsterdam Schiphol. He's going on a holiday for five days, Ibiza, with some uh, old friends from his hometown. So, yeah, I'm still going to be in Amsterdam because I'm next week going to fly out to uh, Dubai. Ruben will be away this week. I will be away next week. Just like with the London trip, this time it's so busy with Icon and everything. We don't want both of us to be away. Also, we've got people at the office working, you know, so it's good that one of us can be there. And yeah, for me, I didn't want to go Ibiza again. We cleaned that place up completely last month. It was absolutely sick. Meanwhile, we were doing record months. And yeah, I'm an extremist, you know, so I cannot go and then be like, oh yeah, just take it easy. No, no, no. I want to take a maximum out of it. Like I do with everything, with business, with enjoyment. I try to take the maximum out of everything. And Ruben has two very good buddies from his hometown. I don't because uh, I was very lonely often because I was grinding by myself. I still have good friends from there, but they are not close anymore because that's what happens. That's what life is. Not everyone can grow with you, right? I was the only one at the time who had that vision and wanted more out of this life. So at one point I moved away by myself to Amsterdam and that's where I opened up, met a lot of new people. That's also something for you. I recommend and also don't be worried if you are maybe lonely grinding right now i was lonely as well i always say you're not a good entrepreneur if you have trouble being alone because being alone comes with this life very often but when once you're doing good once you're making money then 
everyone <laughs> wants to be your friend, right? So that's how it is. So I'm heading back to the office right now. I have a call in like 30 minutes, so I need to hurry up a little bit. Yeah, let's go back to the office. So I'm here with Chris. Chris, 16 years old. Tell me, what do you do? When did you join the program? And yeah, what kind of results did you see? So uh, I joined this program uh, like two months ago, uh, three months, and I started dropshipping. And when I joined, it's only up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some problems with my agency account, but I'm now live around three weeks and uh, I had my uh, first 3K day uh, two days ago. So now I'm scaling to 5K days and uh, hopefully 100K next month. So uh, and, and we're going to level up. And by the time you are 18, what are you going to do then? I'm going to hit the 1 million month. <laughs> <laughs> My, my man no thank you chris yes. and um yeah killing it at the moment in elite and yeah absolutely sick 16 years old amazing thank you for the opportunity always always my friend there he is you? yes that's me <laughs> let's go nice to see you nice to see you too. hey guys he beats that touchdown so what are we going to do guys <laughs> <Some bitches. laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> you hear it guys okay. so who's going to fuck the most <laughs> yeah, I, I think like... I think this guy. <laughs> he is the dirtiest of them all. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see it with girls. He gets home. They cannot be on camera. <laughs> yeah, come on. What a few guys. Yo, guys, here a quick room tour. So here, the bathroom, nice jacuzzi, good shower. I love that everything is very clean in this villa. Always important. So uh, here, nice bath. It's fucking hot here in Ibiza, so luckily uh, we have good AC. Uh, this week it's a heat wave going on, so it's like uh, 35 degrees today. And the rest of the week it will also be around 35 to 40 degrees, so it's fucking hot. As you can see here, also very nice pool. So uh, I love the villa, man. <laughs> just parked the SVR in the office because we are on Uwa Uncensored. Why not park an SVR in the office? But no, uh, Ruben is uh, away for a couple of days, so I don't need two cars. And I was like, why not park it in the office? Because <laughs> we had to run to Schiphol, drop Ruben off, and then all of a sudden we had the Urus and the SVR here. The Urus there, and now the SVR here in the office. It's a bit dirty. Let's see what the employees think tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have the beast inside the office let me know what you think the machine this guys just came from the gym then went to the joe and the juice picked up a coffee and also a juice which i just finished and i had a call with my cfo guys i'm the only one here really showing my payment slips daily fucking payouts laptop dirty as fuck but we don't care Sixty-three thousand will be deposited to your bank within one to two business days these are the only fucking emails i want to see all right guys have a beautiful beautiful day what's up big dog yes guys i posted the story this morning it was that good i have to share the story again for the vlog so guys I posted that I had a call with my CFO and afterwards I dropped the payment slips, right? Daily payout, 63,000 today. Guys, I'm the only one who shares my shit. That's why I do it, because I always used to look up to them people online back in the days, 2018, who shared their results. And I can tell you quite honestly, there's no one who does what I do very very different breed honestly tell me show me show me someone who does my kind of numbers and then openly helps people to do the same thing shares what they make the, the techniques and everything i don't know i'm waiting i'm waiting that's why elite works so good that's why we have the best client results in the industry why lead by fucking example lead from the fucking front everybody should have this principle i don't understand why you think you are in a position to talk to share value or all these 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 losers online that think they they run a, a coaching business or something without being the fucking leader come on man come on what is this shit if i didn't have my my results or at least was further than than people i would never ever coach people the only reason i feel that i'm allowed to coach is because i have the best results at the moment there's only been one client 
I've, I, I've shared it, Santiago from Sweden, he absolutely crushed it, who passed me, who, who did bigger results than me. But for me, it's all good, you know? For me, it makes me only more hungry. He managed to do half a million a day at some point. Come on, guys, that's what only is possible within the elite. To scale that fast, bro, you cannot do that without the right connections, without the right blueprint, without the right people, knowledge, and mindset. And that's what we all do, or that's what we all share in Elite. So let's go after it today, guys. Print some fucking money. Make your parents proud. Oh, do you like the SVR in the office, guy? Yeah, it's good. It, uh, it does need some, uh, some cleaning, but uh, we don't have any money now. Where's all the money? It's all in the stock. It's all it, the stock. Are we going broke? Maybe a little. Is, it, little. is it your fault? Nah, guys. Hey, but Kai, are we going broke? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we need to sell that one. Too much. We need to sell it. Too much for the office. Yes, guys. Someone asked me, Samuel, do you cook? Well, I cook eggs. But no, on other note, I can cook. I can cook very good, but I don't cook anymore. Someone asked me what's in my fridge. Private chef meals. So this is basically mostly carnivore, a little bit of carbs. For carbs, I mostly consume fruits. This is ground beef. We have chicken, steak. So this is most of the time also what I bring to the office, makes it uh, very easy. But I like to have a private chef because it saves me so much time. It doesn't give me any sort of brain fog. I stay focused all day. So that's what I like to eat. So carnivore and fruits, sometimes a little carbs. Here also some kefir. This is really good. Maybe with some honey. So this is what I currently do diet wise. I pay my chef about five to six hundred uh, euros every week that's for me and ruben so it's pretty cheap and uh, yeah just imagine how much time it saves but how much money it makes for me okay and yeah guys on another note you don't need all of these things i got rich way before i was prepping meals or i had a private chef or i was thinking about what i'm gonna consume all the details at the moment where i'm at right now all these one percentages extra they make a big difference but when starting out it doesn't because i don't want you spend a lot of money and time on something outside of your business or yourself your confidence you know just focus on your business your priority and also your confidence and how you look those are the most important things because confidence will compound in your business don't be an overweight little bitch you'll be insecure you worry about what others think of you and it will reflect on your business so make sure you focus on that i've always done that but don't be this this broke boy with his water filter and and all the bullshit all the circus acts but isn't making money i don't want that i always focused on just the priority so when i was at my mom's house grinding by my laptop i was still going to the gym i was eating eggs i was just eating whatever made sense and that my mom had in house if it was eggs or oatmeal but i was not there cleaning my fruits or things along those lines maybe now i do it but i'm in a different stage right now so don't compare your level one to someone's level 500 because that's what you do so where can they find you you can find me in abifa bro abifa <laughs> what's your ig uh, sj cuts and go check him out so uh tell the guys at home uh, when uh, how did you start this in ibiza i started on one way trip to abifa got chatting to the right people fell in my hands and, and the, rest is, uh, rest the rest is history, is history but ah, two years man. later i'm yeah. still here doing but the, the net same. networking is important for that network is the most important thing ever yeah just being nice. in the right places speaking to people don't be shy you never know who can open a door for you man, yeah, man. like trust me you guys can see it cutting with a few <laughs> good few man <laughs> Good enough for some uh, Latinas? <laughs> Not one. <laughs> While Ruben is enjoying his vacation in Ibiza, let's see how Samuel is doing in Amsterdam. Yes, guys, new couch delivery. So we waited on this couch for like six weeks or so. And it's gonna be here. It's gonna look very nice. As you can see, guys, it's gonna be a very big sofa, like four meters or so. Yeah, guys, it's now August 24th. Here you can see what we're on for the month so far. This is only the Euro store. So all stores together 
will be like 1.2 what we are on right now as you can see icon guys let me know what you think of the new shopify dashboard i don't really like it especially because i have shopify plus shopify plus used to have an amazing dashboard where you can see all stores and then also the revenues combined but yeah i'm not complaining month to date not too bad year to date 7.6 million also what i like about this office guys i'm just here grinding working then you just look outside you see the beast here you see what you're working on they're also here unloading the truck for the new sofa running this shit ceo life so guys they dropped off the new couch it's very big keeping it minimalistic here because this will be a photo studio and we don't want to have like too many things going on here because as you can see it's all just gray not too much happening which is very good for the shoot or when we do shoots because you want all the focus all the center of attention on the products so let me know what you think i really like it um, i think it will do very good especially on instagram when we have posts about this couch yes so i'm here with peter so yeah. peter tell the people when did you join the program how was your experience and maybe what kind of numbers do you do right now so i started the program three months ago it's been a great experience so far we're doing we're doing great numbers right now i'm at a consistent 5k a day so i couldn't be more grateful to send me on this team and it's been it's been a great experience for sure amazing man and you have amazing journey maybe can you very short tell where you did you start before you joined the program you had some issues yes yeah, so i've had some issues in the past um, regarding a loan you know so i've had to pay all that back i started off with basically zero starting off this program three months ago so all the missions have been solved now yeah we're doing great numbers now every single day so i couldn't be more happy than really. amazing man thank you peter i'm uh, proud of you and more to come in the the next months yes, thank you man thank you thank you we sell the same shoe in sweden <laughs> for two and a half years right now and i know a lot of our students are selling the same shoe we input okay. new creatives in there and from there, we cross verify whether the CBO works good or not. And then we can have, at one moment, we can have four CBOs with all good creatives in it. Okay, guys, a quick lesson that I want to share with you, especially for the guys that are already doing good numbers. I shared it yesterday with Peter, and that is, at one point, the strategies and the hard work is not the only thing that matters. Why? Because how have I been able to exceed and win against people who were smarter than me? You have a lot of these e-com nerds, right, in the space that think they know everything, this and that, and maybe they do, maybe they are smarter than me, but how then was I able to do way bigger numbers compared to them? That is because I was able to think bigger at some point and really believe in it. That's what you have to do because you can get really comfortable with doing 10K days, 300K a month, but why I don't want you to get comfortable with that, first of all, comfort leads to failure. Second of all, bro, there is another fucking level. There is another level that in your wildest dreams you cannot even imagine. And that's where all the fucking spoils are. You can really live the life of your dreams that you've seen in movies. Just push harder, push further, because getting comfortable, especially when you're doing good, when you're catching momentum, don't do it, man. Think bigger, expand your frame of mind, which book really helped me was the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Think 10 times bigger and work 10 times harder, 10 times more output, and it will lead to 10X bigger results. You know why? Because aiming twice as big, the same effort is for 10 times as big. Really, it's the same effort, just a bigger goal, bigger target. That's what I've been able to do with confidence, think bigger and knowing that I can achieve it, putting everything on the line for it. And right now you see what I'm doing. You see my numbers, you see my lifestyle. That was the main reason. And you will see me in six months doing way crazier things, way bigger numbers, crazier lifestyle, because I know I can manifest everything I put my mind to. Thais, so you just sent out uh, the email. Yes. How is it going? You already saw it's a lot of fists. The response is very good already. Yeah, definitely uh, expecting some good wrestles here. And you, you did a text email, right? How did yeah. the last text email do? 31k, something like that. Crazy. So, uh, yeah, just uh, good wrestles only. Yeah, and the good thing about you is you are also like results driven, right? You like to... Yeah, uh, I like it. If the numbers go up, I like it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the goal. That's why I like Thais too. He understands it. Thank so, you. Uh, you know what you work for then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's what you want, right? Because that is what uh, drives you too. Because you see the work you put in, uh, delivers yeah. results. It keeps you uh, motivated. So, good yeah, job, so. man. Guys. 
Happy with Dennis. Gonna hop into a lead call right now. Friday, 11 a.m. Let's make it a good and valuable call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then what we do, we discount these to 35 or 34.95. Yes, and we make a combi deal out of it. So uh, two polos, you get 20% off. Yeah. So uh, we send the email out on that uh, for that. Let, let's day. let's push out some stock. That's how we do it here, Dennis, at Icon. So Thijs, tell them what we've done with the the shorts because we realized that we at like a couple thousand in in stock it's the end of august we want to move it right yeah so uh, we got a lot of stock of the afani shorts so uh, we put them uh, on top of the summer sale uh, on the second row what i would do here is move them above the other ones they yeah, need to be at the yeah. top yeah that's better <laughs> tomorrow they are all out of stock <laughs> yeah but it is good to do this because yeah. otherwise um, we will still have them and then we will sell them for even cheaper at Black Friday. Yes. So. so yeah, guys, what we did is my supply chain manager dropped me a message that want to let you know sales and shorts are increasing. However, we still have a lot of stock. So what we realized is that we needed to move some items. We uh, increased the discount. We uh, started selling them for only twenty nine ninety five <laughs> because by doing that, they will easily move. Yeah. Also, Dennis uh, helped with placing a, a big fat order. <laughs> Your bro, yeah. When you were launching the Italian ones and all the other ones, how did you uh, use ChatGPT for this? So uh, what I did was uh, I copied uh, the English ad set, this one. So all the English ad copies go uh, yeah, into a copy of the ad set. I changed it to uh, Italy. So then you get this, basically a copy of the English ad set. What I then did is just copy the ad set uh, of the ad copy and placed it into a chat GPT, translate to Italian, Spanish, French, and you get the Italian copy, the Spanish copy, and French copy, all in one placed in uh, my notations. And, and then you only have to change the domain, right? Yes, what I do is uh, after the .com, I uh, change the domain of the native language. Good work. But, uh, Dennis is impressed. Yeah, it's good, man, it's good. We have good employees, right, Dennis? Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> Okay, guys, as you can see, Thijs just sent out three text emails, German, English, and in Dutch. We like to mix things up. And um, yeah, as you heard Thijs say, last text email did over 31,000 in sales. So very, very good. And on another note, I like to share the numbers uh, with the team, or at least that everyone uh, knows what kind of revenues we are doing, how much is, is, is coming in, because when they are making the creatives, when they are doing their job, I want them to know if the, the job they delivered, if it's performing, if the creatives are, are good, how the emails are doing. Too many brands and business owners keep everything to themselves, but I think it's really, really important to share what you are doing. Everyone in my teams knows our numbers, what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously. I share it on Instagram and for us it really helped with what we uh, are doing because everyone feels involved, everyone feels as if they are uh, a part of the business, a partial owner and that's the feeling I want to create and that's why I'm open and transparent with everything I do. So yeah guys, we were going through the Shopify of Icon, check out all customers and what they spend and then we checked here on my phone and here you can see, fucking crazy, here a guy, Kokona. He spent 6.4K, 62 orders. Here's someone spent 5.3K. Here's someone from the Netherlands spent 4.1K with only eight orders. This is the power of returning customers. I'm here with Dennis in the Urus. Yes. Baby. Sick car, sick. It's your dream car, right? Of course. So one year. One year we pull up together. For sure, 100%. My man. Yes, guys. So I'm here with Sam. Now joined my program. This is our first call. We had like a, a one and a half hour uh, call. So really excited to have him uh, on board. Uh, last month you did 100k, right? Yeah, man. 100k. 100k. And and what what made you uh, join the the program? Yeah, I saw the results. Uh, I talked to you before, and uh, um, I knew you had all the answers, uh, but I waited too long, and now. Uh, we did a call and uh, I got all the answers and uh, yeah. Well, what do you think now after our first call? We're gonna, I'm gonna say it in Dutch. We're gonna shit, uh, we shit slow, but... <laughs> you know, uh, That's gonna happen, yeah, most I definitely. Know we're gonna 
make a lot of profits. Uh, website optimization uh, is going to be uh, crazy and uh, yeah, a lot to learn. And then yeah, you will see in the next 90 days will be uh, amazing uh, for Sam. He's now averaging around uh, 3 to 4K a day. But he will definitely go to uh, 10k days uh, plus. So it will be uh, amazing. There's so much uh, for him to optimize on his store, ads, backend. We went through it all. Yeah, it will be fucking sick. Yes, guys. Good morning. Just had a perfect gym session with my brother Ruben. Then we went, of course, Joe and the Juice, little juice espresso to get the day going yesterday we uh, picked up a new piece new investment piece so i'm gonna show you guys it's onua uncensored so i show you everything also will share some advice with you do's and don'ts uh, of course as an entrepreneur you can do so many things with the money you make um, but you want to be smart about it so here we have a couple of watches that currently i have here in amsterdam this is the beautiful piece i yesterday picked up day date this one i will not be wearing in amsterdam because it's it's too much of a risk and you want to be comfortable so this one is for for in dubai mostly i will uh, fly to dubai in a couple of weeks and then i'm gonna wear it there but let me know guys what you think of this one i really like it it really pops what do you think ruben of this one i love it i like the the dial that it's like the sun does dial good one for in uh, dubai or in spain for holiday when i was younger i always saw like rappers wearing watches and i was like when i get older and make money i want to uh, buy pieces like this myself and the beautiful thing right now is honestly i don't see it as real investment i just see it as putting my money away somewhere else because if it's sitting in a bank not doing anything for you and you have it why not spend it also a watch like this it gets respect if you do meetings or you are meeting big entrepreneurs and you pull up with a watch like that they know you do business they know they can talk with you they know that you have some value some knowledge otherwise you wouldn't be wearing that here as well we have my first watch ever or my first luxury watch rolex they just i still wear it very often especially in amsterdam so advice on wearing watches in for example amsterdam the netherlands i would just wear pieces like this or this one the batman i think many of you guys like this one to be honest this one me and ruben have but we don't wear it we like it but honestly it's more for white people <laughs> it's more for white people so uh, maybe we change this one in for other uh, piece also in dubai we still have some credit there so uh, let's see if they have some nice piece it's nice it's also a good one to wear for example if you're going to spain or other countries but uh, it's good I think on, uh, when you have a white skin it looks it looks better on you yeah so in terms of pricing i think i purchased this one from a dealer for 16 and a half thousand euros this was my first watch i got it at the rolex store in dubai back then i only paid 12 and a half or 30 and a half thousand euros so the price has raised a lot so i made a lot of profit on this one but i will never sell this one never this one i don't exactly know what i paid why because i had a, a gmt so this is also gmt but i had a full rose gold gmt but i didn't like it too much it was good but it was pretty expensive but you you didn't see it was pretty expensive so i was like let me trade it in for a more beauty like this downside to having this one is of course wearing it in the netherlands is not what i'm gonna do but the root beer the rose gold one it didn't stand out as much, so I was still able to wear it, you know, here and there. But the root beer, I paid like 45,000 euros for it. What do you have on the wrist, Ruben? This is my uh, first watch. I got it, uh, I think now, one and a half year ago. I bought it at uh, Gassan uh, Diamonds in Amsterdam. So I was lucky that I could get it in Amsterdam. Because for most people, it's hard to get a watch in uh, Amsterdam because the waiting list is so long and they don't want to put you on the waiting list but i told them uh, my story what i did and they blessed me with the watch so i'm happy about that so this has a chocolate dial and it's rose gold so i love this watch i wear it all day i don't care if it gets uh, scratches or i wear yeah. it uh, everywhere i don't care because it's my first watch and i will never uh, sell it so it will stay uh, stay in the family yeah every uh, for all my life so uh, if i get a son later or a daughter she will get it but uh, always your first watch you can never uh, sell it and also some advice, if you live in the Netherlands or 
UK. I think UK is way, way, way worse. I cannot really talk for the UK, but you gotta be careful. Be careful. I don't wear expensive watches here in in the Netherlands. Uh, I only wear the Datejust. If you are a big guy like me, six foot three, I'm always together with Ruben. Then it's it's fine, you know, it's fine. And don't wear it when you are maybe drunk, walking down the street on your own in the middle of the night. Don't do stupid things like that. You know, be careful. But I like to get the finer things out of life. I really take care. Also, I live in a highly secured apartment. We have security guards here. So I'm not too worried about that. But if you are scared to wear like a watch like this, however, I do think this one is very good for if you like more low-key. Also, gave a similar one the full yeah all black submariner i gave to my uh, stepdad because he always took care of me he was very happy uh, you should have seen his face he was almost in tears but so, so uh, <laughs> 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 hey <laughs> 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 so, you start good, though. When I was younger, when I was 18 and started with e-com, you needed to have a credit card. And I didn't have a credit card at the time and I really needed it. So he blessed me with uh, lending his own credit card, even though he didn't know what I was going to do with it. And therefore, it's good to give back to uh, people who really believe in you in the beginning. And it's not only about yourself. If you know me, you uh, know I care a lot about the people around me. My mom, I bless her with holidays, with, with jewelry, with nice things. And that's what you want to do. This life, you can achieve everything, but you want to share it with the ones around you. But guys, if you are scared to wear a watch or whatever, go for the whoop, the whoop. This is the, the, the most safe one, right, Ruben? They will not steal it. <laughs> <laughs> the whoop, it counts your, uh, your sleep metrics, heart rate, things along those lines. Okay, guys, when should you buy watches? So, my first watch. I got this one in 2021 when COVID was, was happening. I was in Dubai and honestly, I was already doing uh, like three to 400K in revenue a month and I am not a watch guy. So I didn't wear a watch at all and I also didn't have it on my mind, but I was with some drop shippers who also did big numbers and we went to the Rolex store with uh, the four of us and we picked up three watches, each of us their first Rolex and it was very good. So I'm very happy I did it. This one has rise in value a lot. And this one pops way more compared to the Batman because of the, the band. So for me, this one, I love it. But um, when should you buy a watch? Honestly, set it as a target, set it as a target, but don't spend your first hard earned money on a watch. I know there are videos online of maybe Iman Gazi and others saying if you have 30K on the, in the bank, spend uh, 10K on a watch, but don't do it. Wow. Don't do it because a watch doesn't do anything. It doesn't create cash flow. It's only putting your money away. And of course they are liquid. Of course you can sell them, but I would do it. I would buy a watch when you don't even know the difference if you miss the money. So. I purchased this one when I didn't even know the, the difference on my bank account, you know? Same goes with this one. I don't notice the difference on my bank account. And especially with e-com, you, you need the money at the beginning to grow. You need money to make money. Uh, things can happen, like uh, they can hold a bit of your money or you have some problems with your manufacturer. All those things can happen. And if some things like that happen, you want to have money to, to back it up So uh, and don't spend it on a watch. So if you have a major success, for example, your first, uh, 200k a month, uh, you can set it as a target like that, or you're and uh, make your first 100k profit. Think in that way. And honestly, a watch is fun, but you saw in the last vlog me getting a new Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. First impression. Very good. It's crazy, uh, crazy car, crazy color. Uh, or talking about my SVR, or even talking about my first car, the A45 AMG. I would rather you save money and then uh, you buy maybe your first uh, car because a car does so much more for you than a watch. Don't buy a watch before you have your first car. Honestly, I've had this discussion with many people. A car means way more. You cannot drive exactly. in a watch. You cannot do anything in a watch. In a car, honestly, it makes you feel that you have really achieved something. And if you're a big guy, if you're always uh, in, going in packs, always in groups, then you can wear a day just here and there. Of course you can, but don't do stupid things 
wearing day dates and things along those lines. Do that for in Dubai. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fly out to Dubai two to three weeks. There I will just uh, wear it, can do anything with it. And uh, in the meantime, the watch will be here uh, locked away in a safe, so yeah. Next time in Onuha Uncensored. Going from, uh, let's say five to seven K days to 20 K days on Facebook. I have 1.2 million membership reward points. Four Rari's in the back. This is what you can have available for yourself if needed.